50 Linfords that came to a, a oh. reunion here. Yeah, I, I did see a, some of that online. I was looking at that. No, I said I'm on the Ashcraft side. I'm on his, his mother's side of the family. And I couldn't get him to quite understand that, you know, it was the other side. <laughs> the church had always thought that the rescue site and the John Linford and those brothers had been buried. Uh, had died and the rescue site was 12 miles further west. Oh, wow. Off the base of the so the Germans know that uh, this is where John Linford and were buried and this was where the, the rescuers, I guess you've read where the rescuers came from Salt Lake? Yes. And, and the Willie company was starving to death. Yeah. They were on the verge of death when they were here. And if the rescuers hadn't come, they'd all been dead within about a week. Mm -hmm. There was like 360 of them. Wow. In, in, in hand carts. Mm -hmm. And it had snowed. There, there may have been six inches of snow, a north wind, and wind chills below zero. And all they have is the hand carts. And, and, and some, some, and of course they had tents. Yeah. And then they had some clothes that were totally inadequate. The river at night on the 19th of October, mm -hmm. they crossed the river at night. And this, and to, to, to get out of that terrible wind and storm and the blizzard, mm -hmm. this could have been one of the campsites. Right. The and that's right where the rescue wagons came over. Okay. Just right there. <laughs> and I'm not so sure that those willows were even there at the time because there is an irrigation ditch that runs along there. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very possible that the willows grew up around the irrigation right. ditch. But, 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 but a recent uh, geological survey shows that the Sweetwater River's changed very little since 1856. Okay. So these willows are probably very authentic as to what they had. You know, we don't know exactly where they camped. Right. But but this this is typical of where they would have camped at that time. Right, just to keep the protected. Keep protected. And, and they were absolutely dying at, at the time. But later that evening, at least they got to eat a little. Right. On the evening of the 21st. And John Linford died on the morning of the 21st. And, and he was here with... Uh, his wife Mariah mm -hmm. and the three boys right and the three boys yeah and the oldest James was still in a England at the time they, uh, they, they never buried him right where the, next to the tents right yeah and so I don't think under the conditions they walked too far right yes <laughs> and so and so I I suspect that they could have been buried anywhere along this meadow and this makes a big loop around there. And this is where they actually came down. Oh, okay. And when they came down here, there was that blizzard. Right. Because the blizzard came in on them on the, the 19th. Mm -hmm. And they were caught clear up by I, about 12 miles from here. They were caught in that blizzard. And, and it was so cold, it's amazing that any of them even made it down, yeah. made yes. it down there. Yeah, because I know when I'm read that and stuff. I'm like, Phew. Yeah. yeah, that's one reason why, you know, parents are getting older, you hate to move right now. And how they would move that hand cart. Levi Savage. Captain Willie.
let's start over there. Sweetwater, where we're at currently. It's like, got blinded right there at Sweetwater. The anchor company, there's the Martin. So we've hit almost everything on this trip so far. We technically has, have followed this whole path that they have, Council Bluffs, all the way over Laramie to eventually Salt Lake. How do you feel about that, that you've almost done the complete Oregon Trail, almost, by accident too? Yeah. <laughs> There's one of the hand carts that they would have used. Here's the women of Six Crossing. And this is the visitor center we just went to. Very nice.